hi guys and welcome back to my channel so today video i'm going to be showing you how to make this dry bitter leaf obono soup this is nigerian style obono soup you can use spinach you can use any vegetable of your choice but i'm using a bitter leaf on this one so the ingredients are going to be using smoked catfish obono powder onion dry bitter leaf you can use fresh one or you can use spinach big prawns which we call oporo crayfish stock cube of your choice fresh pepper or dry pepper and this oil this oil is amazing this oil comes from africa and that's the lastly salt so these are the ingredients i'm going to be using and let's get to the cooking so first thing i'm going to soak the fish the crayfish and the oporo with the um, bitter leaf with hot water and that is the meat i'm using as well i've already boiled the meat so over the heat place a pan and add the oil the quantity of your choice allow the oil to heat up a little then clean the onion and add the onion into the oil allow the onion to saute for about two minutes two to three minutes or until the onion is cooked down a little so now that the onion have cooked down as you can see there i'm going to add the obono now i'm using frying method on this obono so i'm going to stay there and continue to stir the obono to make sure that there is no lump inside the obono so go ahead and stir them over a medium heat to make sure that the obono is well blended into the oil and onion so why normally why i'm doing this i normally add the crayfish and other ingredients as you can see i'm throwing the ink i just throw in the pepper in into the obono and i'm adding the meat i'm using cow and goat meat to cook this soup and bomo as well so i'm going to mix them all up together as you can see there just go ahead and mix them so now i'm adding the stock i'm adding half stock because i don't like to use a lot of stock from the meat to cook so i'm correcting this the consistency with fresh water so all you need to do is add the water until it comes to the consistency you want like if you want it too thick you don't have to add too much water if you want it not too thick add less um i mean add more water so i throw in the stock cube i'm using As, now i'm adding some salt i'm still adding water because i'm correcting the consistency so on this stage you can go ahead to add the crayfish and um if you're using um what did they call uh, if you're using ogiri as you can see here i'm adding crayfish as well if you're using ogiri which Igbo people call it or um, i don't know what your people call it again just add all the ingredients you're you're going to you're using into the soup just go ahead and add and add you can add stock fish just spice up the soup guys <laughs> okay that is what that is part of cooking so after adding the crayfish and the prom big prom which we call oporo I'm going to go ahead now to add a dry bitter leaf because the dry bitter leaf need time to cook as well. So add the dry bitter leaf at this stage and stir them all up together. After stirring them, I did not add the uh, ogiri or dawa dawa or iru. Yeah, Yoruba people call it iru on the camera. I added it off the camera so now i'm going to allow them to cook for three minutes then i'm adding the catfish i clean the catfish off the camera as well i'm adding the catfish and I'm, i added the catfish and i'm going to stir them all up together so after stirring them now i'm going to allow them to cook for more three minutes then i'm going to take them out of the heat test the salt if the salt is enough if it's not enough go ahead and correct it so yeah it's very easy and it's so delicious with that bitter leaf inside i hope you give this soup a try thank you all for watching and i will see you on my next video and if you haven't subscribed please do so god bless you bye